Hi, I'm Cindy George. I'm going to take you through a series of active isolated stretches for the neck. We spend so much time during the day with our shoulders rounded, either looking at the computer screen or looking at our phones or watching television, and we tend not to have the best posture. So, and there also may be times when you wake up in the morning and it's the I slept wrong, like you can't turn your neck right or left. So these stretches should help get you through the day. And um, here we go. So we're gonna start a little bit first with the upper shoulders, upper traps. We're gonna take your ear and just bring it over towards the shoulder. Try to keep your shoulders nice and steady. Pull your belly in nice and tight. And we're gonna drop the right ear over towards the right shoulder without any assistance first, just to see what we have for range of motion. So you can take that ear over and just drop. Hold for two seconds and then bring it back up again. And we're going to repeat. Take it over, hold for two, and bring it up. And you're going to notice I don't have a whole lot of lateral flexion. I have two plates in my cervical neck, so that kind of inhibits what I am physically able to do, but it still feels really good. So we're going to do another one. Take it over and hold and then bring it back up. So we can add a little bit of resistance, placing the hand on top of the head, drop that ear over to the shoulder, and you're gonna feel a little bit more traction through this shoulder here. And bring it back up. Take it back over and hold, and back up. One more time, take it over and hold, and back up. Really gentle with the neck. It likes to get a little cranky sometimes. We're gonna go over to the other shoulder, so take your left ear, and you're gonna drop that up and over. And just see if you've got any more range of motion on that side. Looks like I have a little more, a little more go on that side. Take it over and hold. End range for two seconds, and bring it back up. And back over. And bring it back up one more time without any assistance. Take it back over and hold and back up, good. We're gonna add the hand on top very gently and just as you drop over, let that traction stretch out through that shoulder. Bring it back up and drop it over and back up. It should not hurt, it should feel really good and each time it's just opening up that tissue a little bit more. Good, one more time and take it up and over and bring it back up. Good. Give yourself a little bit of a break, and then we'll move on to another rotation, hitting the scalenes and the levators, and even the SCMs, the sternocleidal mastoids that help our heads twist side to side. All right, coming back, we're gonna hit the levators. So if you wanna know where the levators are, they kind of come down the back of the neck. And if you think L for look, levator starts with an L, so it's like look at levator, so you're looking down. So you're gonna turn your head over to the side about 45 degrees. You're gonna look down toward that armpit and bring it back up again. And drop it down. And you're gonna feel this stretch all the way down your back. It kind of gets into those rhomboids and traps back there as well. Drop it over and hold. One, two, and bring it back up. And drop it back over and hold. and bring it back up. So we're gonna add that hand on top again to the back of the head. You're gonna turn 45 degrees, drop your chin down and just provide a little more traction. Very gently. Let's try three more of those. Drop your chin down and hold. Bring it back up. Drop your chin down and hold. Bring it back up. One more time on that side and drop it down and you should start to feel a little more opening in the back of that neck. All right, let's get the other side. So you're gonna turn 45 degrees, look down toward that armpit, drop the chin down and just be aware of what that flexibility on either side gives you. There's no judgment. One side may be happier than the other to do this. This side is a little bit tighter for me, so it is what it is. Drop it down and back up. One more time, drop it down, 
hold one, two, and back up. We're gonna add that hand back up onto the top. Turn 45 degrees, hand comes to the top. Bring the chin down toward the armpit. Lift it back up. Bring the chin down. You're gonna hold two seconds and bring it back up. Bring the chin down and hopefully getting a little more range. And back up one more time. Bring it back down and back up. Good. All right, so the scalenes attach in the front. They're a little bit harder to get to. You're going to turn your head to the side and you want you to pretend you've got water in your ear and you're just dumping it out the back end, okay? So over towards your shoulder blade. So you're gonna turn your head to the side, got water in your ear, dump it out the back and you're gonna feel this stretch all the way through the front end of the neck and bring it back up again. And if you wanna hold here, just to provide a little more traction and back up two more turn it lift and back up one more time turn open and back up so if you add the hand to this it's a little bit more difficult you got to kind of rearrange some things but if you turn your head push on the forehead open up the tissue up front and bring it back up you can hold to the back of the head if you want, but I kind of like it more closer toward the forehead. And back up. Tip and go. Hold one, two, and lift. One more time. Tip and go. And back up. Bring yourself back around to front. We'll do the same to the other side. Turning your head over. Again, remember you've got water in your ear. You're going to dump it out the back end and bring it up, open through that tissue up in front, and back up, open, and lift one more time without assistance, and back up, adding that hand on the next one. Turn, open it up, hold one, two, and bring it up. And you were just taking that stretch right to the end range just long enough before it's going to recoil so we don't want that stretch reflex kicking in we just want to open that tissue up nice and gently so it has a chance to uh, nourish itself as it comes back and then we're going to bring our chin as far down forward onto our chest as we can in a perfect world your chin should actually be able to hit your chest as you roll forward so dropping it down and lifting it up, dropping it in, and lifting up, dropping it down, and back up one more time, dropping it down, and back up. You can place one or two hands on the top or in the back of the crown of the head here. And as you go forward, very gently again, we're not trying to uh, crank your neck around here. Drop the chin in and just hold a little bit of tension. Two seconds. And bring it up. And bring it forward. And lift up. Let's do that one more time. Bring it forward. And back up. And now to the front of the neck, lots of muscles in here. And this really responds well with some, some traction. Um, so you're gonna see where my scar is here as I tip my head backwards. Nice and easy, you're gonna lift the chin up towards the ceiling. No help first, lifting up. And bring it back in. Look and lift up. And bring it back in. And lift up and back in one more time and lift up and back down for the next couple go ahead and just pull a little bit of traction here and then as you look up you're going to feel a nice stretch and if you want you can even take your chin up higher and back up almost like you're trying to take your chin up over your nose looking up and lift one more time and lift I think that was three. Let's give it one more. This one feels really good. 
and back up. And then we're gonna end with um, the SCMs, how we turn our neck side to side. So you're gonna look over to your right shoulder as far as you can and bring it back around again. And here's a little tip. If you add your eyes, you can kind of get a little bit more. So if you look to the side, your neck will follow where your eyes are going and bring it back in. Twist and turn, there's three. Bring it back in one more time. Twist and turn, there's four. And bring it back in. Now when we add the arms and the hands to this, again, it looks like you're a little bit of gymnastics going on, but as you twist, you're just gonna pull to the back of the head and the front of the chin and just give it a little gentle. Again, we're not looking for any chiropractic adjustments here. Nice and easy, twist and turn. Two more sets of like that. Twist and hold and back in and don't forget the eyeballs. Look where you're going and bring it back in. And let's do the same to the opposite side. Turning your chin over to the other shoulder and back in, engaging the eyeballs as you look and back in and twist and back in one more time twist and back in so we're going to add the hands and the with the whole gymnastics things here we go so as you twist grab the back of your head twist the chin bring everything back around again twist and hold bring it back around again twist and hold and back around one more time twist and hold and back around good and this bring everything back to neutral so I hope that helps if you do have if you have the I slept wrong syndrome and you're not able to look right or left a little tip if you go to the side where it likes to go let's say I had a really hard time turning my head to the side this way I want to stretch starting with the opposite side first so it kind of has a nice little rebound effect so do where it likes to go go into the movement of ease and then go back and attempt the other side that might be something you might want to try it works for many many people so thank you so much for joining me this is just a little bit of the head in the next series um, i will follow up with you if you liked it we've got more coming and um, thanks so much